So next, we also have monetary unit principle or the monetary concept where it states that the amount that you will be recording should be in a single monetary unit where in our case, we will be using peso. Na ibig sabihin, kahit sa ibang bansa, binili ni business ang products, kino-convert natin siya through one single monetary unit, which is peso. So, kahit anong mangyari, lahat ng prices na nire-record natin is stated in peso. So, that's monetary unit principle. We also have cost principle. Sinabi natin, cost principle or cost concept, accounts should be recorded initially at cost. So, from the original price upon purchase. So, kung magkano mo binili si BIST, si, si account, ganun mo rin siya i-record. So, halimbawa, binili mo siya ng worth 5,000 until the end, ang record mo sa kanya is 5,000 pesos. Pag nakakuha ka ng discount, tandaan lang natin, original. So, kung nabili mo siya ng, kung yung 5,000, nabili mo ng 4,500, 4,500 lang. Kung bagkana mo siya binayaran. At, yun ang lagi mong tatandaan. The moment na binili mo siya, yun yung original price niya. So, halimbawa, ah, sa iPhone, bumili ka ng iPhone 6 at ah, ng 2017. So, kung ang presyo noon 2017 is 15,000, iPhone 6, tapos so, bumili ka ngayon yung 2020, ng iPhone 6, ang presyo is 5,000. Yung 15,000 nung 2017 is still 15,000. Hindi siya, hindi mo siya ipapare sa presyo ngayong taong 2021. So, original price upon purchase. Next, we also have accrual accounting principle or the accrual concept. So, pag sinabi natin accrual, concept, meron siyang dalawang klase. We have the accrual, accrual accounting principle, where the accrual concept, at meron din siyang cash basis. So, accrual accounting, accounting principle stated that revenue should be recognized when earned, regardless of collection, and expenses should be recognized when incurred regardless of payment. So, sinasabi dito, once na nag-generate ng profit sa accrual concept, once na nag-generate ng profit si business, ah, na-collect mo man siya or utang man si, si revenue or si income, kailangan mo siyang i-record. Together with, kapag expense naman, ah, ina-acknowledge mo lang si expenses when incurred regardless of payment. Nire-record mo din siya, depende kung, kung paano mo siya pabayaran. Kung pabayaran mo ba siya ng cash or credit. Pero on the other hand, the cash basis principle, the counterpart of accrual accounting principle, stated that revenue is recorded when collected lang, and expenses should be recorded when paid. Pag sinabi natin, cash basis naman, i-record mo lang siya kapag may cash ka nang na-receive. Once cash is received, you record it. Once cash is paid, you record it. 
So cash basis is not the generally accepted principle today. So, hindi, hindi common na ginagamit si cash basis pero may gumagamit pa rin sa kanya. So, ang gagamitin natin is the accrual accounting concept where we record even there is no cash involved. Now, once, ang nasabi si expenses, nakikita si revenue, ire-record nyo siya kahit walang payment. We also have the revenue realization concept. So, income is recognized as income even cash is not earned. So, what do, does this concept mean? So, may mga pagkakataon na may customer tayo na, tiyat, na nangungutang sa business. So, once na siya is a revenue or income or sales. So, yung tatlong words na yun is magkakaparehas lang ng meaning that is revenue inire-record natin siya as revenue kahit hindi cash or kahit hindi ka nakatanggap ng cash. Na kahit utang siya, ire-record mo siya as revenue. Next is, we have matching principle or the matching concept where it states that cost should be matched with the revenue generated. So, revenue always comes with expense. So, lagi match dapat si income kay expense. So, kapag hindi nag-match si income kay expense, mali na yung ginawa mo. May kulang na, may mali na. So, dapat laging laging match si revenue at saka si cost. We also have objectivity principle or the very Fiability principle where financial statements must be presented with supporting evidence. Saan? Hindi tayo nagpapresent ng financial statement alone. Ito yung, ito yung part na nagko-collect tayo ng receipts. At yun yung ginagamit natin as supporting evidence. Meron tayong book na basihan for our evidence. Meron tayong worksheet na basta yan for our financial statement. We also have materiality principle or the materiality concept that in case of assets that are immaterial to make a difference in the financial statements, the company should instead record it as an expense. Halimbawa, Ito yung mga sinasabi natin. Cost assets that are immaterial or yung low-cost assets. So, na kung hindi naman, halimbawa, bumili ka ng bumili ka ng isang box ng pencil tapos, ang nagamit mo lang sa box ng, isang box ng pencil is two or three pieces lang. Halimbawa lang, ha? Instead, i-record mo si two or three pieces ng pencil na nagamit mo, nire-record mo pa rin as expense yung isang buo, isang box ng pencil, kahit meron pang natitira. Kasi, it's a low-cost asset that would not make too much difference in the financial statement. So, instead of recording it one by one, you record it as a whole. Okay, next, we also have disclosure principle or the disclosure concept that all relevant and material information should be reported. That every transactions na meron that is related with the business should be reported or should be recorded. We also have consistency concept. It is the use of a consistent system of recording transactions where inconsistency concept will be more applied in accounting to kung saan meron kasi tayong tinatawag doon na uh, 
function of expense. Yan, doon natin makukuha yan. Kaya, magkaroon tayo ng consistency concept na kung ano yung ginawa nung simula ni business, yun din ang gagawin mo or itutuloy mo kapag ikaw na yung accountant ng business. So, kailangan consistent. So, kung Roman numerals ang ginamit mo from the very beginning, hindi ka pwedeng mag Roman numerals ang gagamitin mo. Until the end, hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng Arabic and so on. Ano lang yan? Yung numbers na yan is just to have a view of how consistent you should be. We also have conservatism principle where it is also known as the prudence that in case of doubt, assets and income should not be overstated while liabilities and expenses should not be understated. Na kung, may, kung na once na hindi kayo sure, yeah, wag kayong mag-overstate ng assets at saka ng income at ang liabilities and expense should not be understated because you do not know what will happen to the business. So, those are the different concepts and principles of accounting that you need to learn.